hey guys welcome back to next gen blog uh, and in this video i want to show you how you can apply different colors on top of a video in vstc free video editor now it's actually super easy to apply different colors on top of a video in vstc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this, I've already imported a demo video in the editor. So this is my demo video present right here. And right now I don't need this video. So let me just turn off the visibility of this video by clicking on this eye icon, which is present on the extreme left hand side. All right. Now first, what you need to do is you need to add a rectangle object on top of the screen. So go to add object, select rectangle, and now click on OK. Now mark your rectangle object on top of the screen like this. And click on this option which is set the same size as the parent has. Now double click on your rectangle object. And what you need to do next is you need to add a colorize effect. So go to video effects. Go to adjustments. Select colorize. And now click on OK. Now currently the duration of the colorize effect is the entire duration of my rectangle object in the timeline that is 9 seconds. So I would like to reduce the duration of my colorize effect to just 3 seconds. So inside the duration option you need to write 03.000 and then press enter on the keyboard. Now what I intend to do is I intend to change the color from black to blue and then from blue to red and finally from red to black once again. So this is what my plan is. I would like to change the color from black to blue then from blue to red and then from red to black once again. And to change the colors, I will require the RGB values of black, blue and red. So let me just write those. So the RGB value of black is 0, 0, 0, 0. RGB value of blue is 0, 0, 255 and rgb value of red is 255,0,0 so now look inside the colorize effect settings which is present inside the properties window and inside mode currently monochromatic is selected so that's fine you don't need to make any changes inside this mode option Right below the mode option, you will find three additional options, red levels, green levels and blue levels. Now, currently inside red levels, the value is 128. So, as I said earlier, I would like to change the color from black to blue. So, inside red levels, I need to write 0, 0. So, inside red levels, let me just write 0 semicolon 0 all right now inside green levels i need to write 0 semicolon 0 once again so inside green levels let me just write 0 semicolon 0 and inside blue levels I need to write 0 semicolon 255. So inside blue levels you need to write 0 semicolon 255. And now press enter on the keyboard. So in the first 3 seconds what is going to happen is the color is going to change from black to blue. So let me just play the video for you. Perfect. All right. Now, next what you need to do is you need to click on this colorize effect. Press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. 
Now place this second colorize effect right after the first colorize effect like this and now what our plan was our plan was to change the color from blue to red so look inside the colorize effect settings of the second colorize effect mode is monochromatic so no changes to that inside red levels what we are going to write is 0 semicolon 255 so inside red levels you need to write 0 semicolon 255 inside green levels you need to write 0 semicolon 0 so 0 semicolon 0 is already written inside green levels so I will not make any changes to that inside blue levels you need to write 255 semicolon 0 so inside blue levels you need to write 255 semicolon 0 and now press enter on the keyboard all right and so in the first six seconds what is going to happen is the color will change from black to blue and then from blue to red so let me just play the video for you so here the color is changing from black to blue and then it is changing from blue to red perfect now finally what you need to do next is you need to click on the second colorize effect press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now place this third colorize effect after the second colorize effect like this and our plan with the third colorize effect was to change the color from red to black once again so if you look inside the colorize effect settings of this third colorize effect mode is set to monochromatic so no changes to that inside red levels you need to write 255 semicolon 0 so inside red levels you need to write 255 semicolon 0 inside green levels you need to write 0 semicolon 0 so inside green levels 0 semicolon 0 is already written so I will not make any changes to that and finally inside blue levels you need to write 0 semicolon 0 once again so inside blue levels you need to write 0 semicolon 0 and now press enter on the keyboard perfect and so what is going to happen is the color will first change from black to blue then from blue to red and now from red to black so let me just play this entire thing for you from the start so first black to blue then blue to red and then red to black once again perfect now let's go back to the main editing timeline and what you need to do is you need to first turn on the visibility of your video by clicking on this eye icon once again and now click on your rectangle object and click on this blend option which is present right here and you need to select this particular option which is multiply perfect and that's it and so now if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start so now as you can see the colors are applied on top of my video so the colors are changing on top of my video so let me play this output for you in the preview window as well so let me just lower my resolution so this is how you can apply different colors on top of a video in VSCC free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching